The KBDA series of AC drives from KB Electronics provides overload protection, prevents motor burnout, and eliminates nuisance tripping. They're easy to install and simple to operate. Please note that there are some differences between the 24, 27, and 29 model KBDA series drives. The drive is factory set for 208, 230 volt AC line input. If you need to change this to 115 volt AC line input, install jumper J1 into the 115V position. The keypad features eight keys, which are used to program the drive's functions. There are also eight LEDs, which provide indication of the drive's operational status. The run stop key starts or stops the drive. The forward reverse key changes the motor direction. The up and down keys adjust output frequency, set frequency, function number value, and code setting. The JOG and LCL REM key serves multiple functions. It is factory programmed to function as a JOG key. When that key is pressed, it will toggle between run mode and JOG mode. If the key is instead reprogrammed for local remote operation, the key is used to toggle between local keypad or remote signal operation. The program display key is used to enter the program mode and display mode. If this key is pressed while frequency is displayed, the previously entered function number will be shown. If the key is pressed while function number is displayed, the set frequency will be shown. When more than one display function is enabled, the key is used to toggle between displays. The left shift reset key moves the changeable digit or resets the drive to clear a fault. The read enter key reads or enters a function number's value or code setting. The key is also used to read or enter the frequency setting. If AC power has been properly connected to the drive, the LEDs will indicate the drive status. For a test run, begin by pressing the run key. This will cause the motor to accelerate to the set frequency, which is factory set to 5 Hz if you're running it for the first time. After connecting our drive to power and our successful test run, we can begin programming it for a basic startup configuration. To set parameters, verify your drive is in the stop mode, as you can only change your functions while in stop mode. To begin, press the program key to open the programming menu. You will now see a function number displayed on screen. The function number indicates a group number, which is on the left side of the decimal point, and a group number code, which is on the right side of the decimal point. You can change these digits using the up and down keys and use the left shift key to change which digit you are moving. Start by setting your motor and drive parameters in function group zero. Enter your motor nameplate current amp rating using function number 0.01. Set your motor type in function 0.02 using the default code 0000 for inverter duty TEFC or code 0001 for an external fan cooled motor. Set your torque mode using function 0.03 using either the default 0000 code for constant torque for machinery applications or code 0001 for variable torque for use in HVAC applications. Set your desired GFCI operation mode in function 0.04. The default 0000 code disables HFCI operation. Set your desired motor frequency using function 0.05 if you require a frequency other than 50 or 60 Hertz. Set your motor nameplate voltage in percentage of drive output using function 0.06. With these initial settings configured, we are now ready to test our drive at 60 Hz operation. Press the run key to begin drive operation. If everything is running in the correct frequency and direction is configured, then your initial startup test is complete. 
You should now refer to your manual for additional parameter settings if required. If your drive did not run correctly, you should begin troubleshooting by going through the initial configuration steps again. For more information, please go to galco.com.